context capture, metric and feet measurements in non-georeference models. Non-georeference models can now be measured with real units, such as meters or feet, instead of what was previously used, which were arbitrary units. This is done by creating a project and importing your photos. You then create two or more user tie points using known distances in the scene. You'll then set a scale constraint using the user tie points and the desired units. You'll then run another AT to apply the scale constraint and the model can then be submitted for reconstruction. So we will go into context capture and create a new block. We will then add our photos to the block. For this, I will clear our pose metadata. So there is no location in this model. We will then go to our survey tab and create two user tie points. We will then mark these tie points in a couple photos. As a general best practice, it's good to remember to spread the photos that are marked throughout the screen, the scene, so you're not just choosing a single angle on the photo, on the points. So here we have a couple of different angles doing the points. We will then go to our constraint tab next to survey points, create a scale constraint with our tie points as A and B on the line. We will then enter the value of the distance. For this instance, it is one meter. But of course we have other units to choose from and the old form of arbitrary units is still there if necessary. We can then hit accept. Go back to our general tab and submit this for AT. When the AT completes, you can then create a new reconstruction and submit that for production. If we open the model I ran earlier, we can see, we can open up our measurement tool. We can see because we have an XYZ and a local coordinate system, there is no real location data here. It's just a local coordinate system. However, if we click distance in our measurement, we can now see we are measuring in real units instead of arbitrary units.